Hey there again, VC. I'm back for one more video before I go away for a couple weeks. Uh, I'm gonna do a VC cheers. I don't have, don't think I've ever seen anyone drink a Powerade, a blue Powerade, in a VC cheers video. So, cheers, VC. Yeah. So, first off, let's start off with a great VCLT from the one and only DJ Trish. These. Two of her great mixes. She sent some stickers and, and a nice note, but uh, those are put away now in my special VC binder. But um, so two amazing mixes that I just love so much, and I love that it, you included an an Elvis song on one of these. Tonight is so right for love, and I really appreciate these, Trish. You make some of the best mixes. And I re they really make me happy when I get one, and I have a big section of them now, so it's uh, it's really nice. And then I I have a lot of great flea market finds in this video. I know I'm shooting this in a weird s spot on the kiss kind of wall, but there's no kiss in this video, but that's okay. So I, I got some great, uh, some amazing 8-tracks at the flea market. First off, we have from 1968. Johnny Cash at Folsom Prison. What else is there to say? This is a Columbia 8-track. Just finding a place to put all this stuff. And I'm just trying to... And then we have a Johnny Cash I Walk the Line on Birchmont. 8-track. And then three Elvis ones that I didn't have. So that was very exciting to find those the wonderful world of christmas from 1971 i think i should know this and then we have elvis what is this one then we have sorry elvis country from 1970 we all know that album great album and then uh it's a bit rough on the front here but it's not like too bad Elvis Golden Records. All right, let's get into the vinyl. These were all between two and five dollars. So, first off, let's start off with some Barry White and the Shrink Wrap. This is his 1979 album, a great soul album. It's one of his um, like unknown album, and it was nice to find it for two dollars in the Shrink Wrap. Next up. I'm going to be showing two albums, two of my my favorite albums, in my favorite albums of all time. Don't have much heavy metal. And these albums I've listened to probably five times over and I totally I totally know what all you metal metal heads here in the VC feel when you listen to this music and why you're such fans of metal to so so Farley and Billy Hurst and as well as uh, Scott Waters and and all those other great guys and Jared so Halloween, this is their Keeper of the Seven Keys, Part 1. These are both Canadian pressings on the RCA Victor in great condition with the printed inner sleeve. Just some great German heavy metal, speed metal. And then I just got this one at the flea market. This is uh, Part 2. Keeper of the Seven Keys and just such great albums. I definitely recommend them if you've never checked them out. I don't, I don't know if uh, guys like Metal Ron or you know, well obviously you know about that, but I just want to know what you guys think about those. So, an artist that I never, I never can find, and I finally found one from 1985 on the MCA label, Bobby Womack, So Many Rivers. It's also a great record that I've listened to many times now. And then we have a Glenn, the Glen Campbell album on Pickwick. I didn't have this one for a dollar. Yeah, these were all from the flea market except for two Goodwill finds at the end. And this, this was a wonderful find for five dollars. I paid for this on the, my first on the Folkway label. This is Memphis Slim. This one's from 1961, and it's some boogie woogie blues kind of stuff. And these Folkways have those great inserts. I don't have to show you, but. That explained the music, and that was great because I can't, I don't find blues albums for cheap, ever. And a great album from Flat and Scrubs, When the Saints Go Marching In from 1962. Still in the shrink wrap, kind of. It's starting to tear a little bit, but 
And I, I really enjoyed that on, on Columbia. Next up, uh, a very interesting Everly Brothers from 1972 on the RCA Victor. And this was produced by Chet Atkins. It's a very interesting album. The title's kind of weird, but um, it's not not what you expect from the Everly Brothers, but it was pretty enjoyable. This is a, this is a nice just country album. These This is um, Jim and Jesse. They were brother and sister. And this is on Epic. Great, great country duo. It was a dollar. And uh, the title track is a great song. Diesel on my tail. And here's a nice Stan Getz with Charlie Bird album. Jazz. Samba. I'm sure Doug Armstrong knows this one. Fat City Vinyl. Shout out to you, buddy. And I'm just going to pull this one out here. On the Rolling Stones record label, this is Peter Tosh, of course, doing Bush Doctor. A great album. I think it's from 79. It might be earlier than that. I'm not too sure, but a great record for a couple bucks. And an early Grand Funk album from 1970. A great listen on the Target Capital, Green Target. Okay, what else do we have here? Um, Billy, Billy Thorpe, Children of the Sun. Um, I know Jody Watson likes this one, so that's the that's the reason why I picked that up. Was because uh, I saw him show this album. It's pretty good for a couple dollars. An album that I've been wanting to find. This cover gives me a headache sometimes when it gets in the glare. But this is the <laughs> Uriah Heat on on the Mercury label. Of course, it's got the the mirror, and it's a really nice album. Great, great band right there. The Fifth Dimension. This is a great album. I don't understand this weird thing on the back, but uh, yeah, that's a wonderful. Fifth Dimension are under, underrated, and I really enjoy their music. And then from that, we sl we switched to, from 1986, Paula Abdul. Been wanting to get this one for a long time. Really good album. It's pop, 80s pop. Here was my favorite find from, oh, you just saw it, but here was my favorite find from the weekend. It's not, uh... It's not in perfect condition, but it, it, for its age and for what it is, it's in wonderful condition. And I know it's July, but here's the Elvis Christmas album for $2. And this is the Canadian pressing, mono from 58. In really nice condition. And I was just shocked to find that because I just don't see that version of the Christmas album a lot. And my, um, sorry, Merle Haggard. His tribute to Elvis, my farewell to Elvis. Wonderful record. What more can I say about Merle? And great tribute from 1977. Now an er really early Hank Snow album that I that I've never seen, and I really enjoyed this one. This one's from '57 on the RCA label, of course, and that's a great album. Great country music from Canada. Great Canadian country artist. And uh, Tammy Wynette's second album with uh, David Houston in the shrink wrap on Epic from 67. Just a few more here, guys. And a Johnny Cash album I didn't have. Uh, Legends and Love Songs from 1968. This is a, a club edition from Columbia. So it's, it's always good when I can find a Johnny Cash album that I don't have. And then last but not least, we have two Goodwill finds. And first one is a 12-inch single to Marvin Gaye's Joy off of that great album, Midnight Love. Um, there haven't been many records recently at Goodwill for a long time. And we'll end this video off with uh, great, the great Jim Reeves from this wonderful Canadian compilation series that I have a lot of, the Elvis and the Waylon Jennings and... If you can find these compilations, they're really nice and they sound good. And that, that's it for me, VC. I'll, I'll see you guys in a couple weeks going to enjoy a vacation. And I, I know I said I wouldn't be back, but you know how it goes. You, you go to the flea market and, and you find some stuff. And 
and yeah so i thank you guys so much for watching and supporting the channel so take good care and uh, i'll talk to you guys in a few weeks